At one time or another playing Minecraft, we've all made this farm right here for our crops. And although it's not terrible, it is really ugly. And my goal with this video is to help you turn this disgustingly ugly looking farm into something much, much cooler and tons of my tips and tricks will help you along this journey. I'm gonna cover mistakes that everybody makes when they build a farm in Minecraft. I'm gonna cover tons of really cool build hacks and I'm gonna show you three really, really awesome ways to build a farm. And it's gonna be a great time, guys. So I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready to learn and I hope you're relaxed because we're gonna do some build education here back with the Builders Academy, this time for farming. The first thing we're going to cover today, guys, is how you can make a farm with no visible water. Because the water, honestly, let's be honest, guys, it's pretty ugly. We want to cover it up and do something like this. So something that I get asked a lot is how you do something like this. You know, I thought maybe a lot of people knew about this, but apparently not. But well, all you have to do is take your slab and place it down on the top half of a block where you want your water. Now, this can be in row form or anything. You know, you can do this any length you want, but you just need top slabs. Then all you have to do is water log it. See, the water goes straight underneath them. And you, we can see here that the water is underneath and the slab goes in. Just make sure you put the slab in first and then water log it. And as you can see, the water does get to the soil and will make it nice and saturated. And now you can decorate this wooden part with whatever you want. Or, you know, what my go-to is always the fences with the lantern or whatever kind of decoration you want. And that's how you can decorate your farm without having any visible water. It gives you a lot more options for farm decoration. With this same principle, we can design some really, really awesome looking farms. And one of my first ever very popular videos on TikTok actually was the stacked farm like this, the circular tiered farm. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it since all of the comments on that video were people asking, how did I do it? How is the soil getting water? And I'm going to show you here right now how you can build a farm stacked like this up circular. So to begin, you want to map out the size of your bottom circle, which is going to be your largest, so that you can figure out the tiers from there. Right here is a good example of a decent sized circle. This is a five long and then just two diagonal and then five again. This one's fairly small, but it's just to show you the example of how to build one of these. Now, what you want to do next is you're going to take your slab and you're going to bring it into the very middle of your circle. Now what you can do is waterlog it. This is just to get some water in. You don't have to keep the slab here. You can in fact break the slab. But now what you want to do is fill in the soil. Now you're just going to do one circle all the way around along with the edges. And then depending on what you want, you could just do one and then go to the next level or you could do two. So for me, I'm just going to do two layers real quick just to show you how this works. I'm going to go two layers all the way around and that's going to complete our circle. Now I'm just going to fill in the corners to make it a better looking circle. And there we go. Now we can move to the next layer. Obviously, the next layer of dirt is going to be right here. So what we want to do is now find the center of this circle again with the slab. So here we are. There's the slab in the very middle, and we are going to waterlog it this time. Now we have to do the same thing and fill in the dirt all the way around this circle. And this pattern basically repeats for as tall as you want this farm to be. And remember, the larger the base, the larger the farm will be in the end. Now what we can do is put our fence and our lantern there. And what I like to do is go around and put some trap doors here, or maybe you want to put a pathway. You can always put a little pathway up into the farm right here, something like that on all sides. And the final step is to fill it all in with seeds. And as you can see, all of the crops are able to grow and all of the water is getting to the soil. So hopefully this helps you guys make some circular stacked farms. They look so cool in your Minecraft world. And this is a really interesting trick that it would be hard to figure out on your own. So you can use this in your world with your friends to kind of show off your building skills. And if you do, make sure to send them over here to the Lemon Slice channel. We do tons of guides like this all the time, guys. And I hope you're enjoying today's video. If you are, drop a like. It helps the video go out to new people to find our wonderful community we have here. Also, guys, I know these circles might be a little bit hard. So if you want me to do a circle guide video as to how to figure out how to make a circle of a certain size, circles are a tough thing in Minecraft, and I've really learned to get it down. So if you think that'd be a fun video, make sure you leave it in the comments to let me know. Moving on, this is the next type of farm we are going to be touching on today. This is a really cool hanging stacked farm that doesn't have water going through the middle. You can't see any water in this farm and it honestly looks so cool too. So this is a tower type of farm and I want to show you guys how you can make things like this also. 
And obviously, guys, the blocks that I use to demonstrate this build does not matter at all. I just love me some spruce wood. So the first thing we're going to do to make a farm like that is you're just going to pick your shape. It doesn't have to be a circle or square. It can be whatever you want it to be. I just like circles a lot. So what I want to do is find first I want to work off the center. So we're going to say this is the center of what I want. And I'm going to put my waterlogged slab and it's going to get a little messy real quick. So now I'm going to build my circle. So I'm just going to do this a little bit of a small circle around this center piece right here what i want to do to make this even better we're just going to put in you know our little lantern and now i'm just going to give it a border so these are going to be my corner pieces where we're going to have the poles holding it up and then we're going to just have some trap doors going around so this has kind of become more of a square than a circle but it's okay so with your shape down guys and your corners for the fences go ahead and put them in now I want you to separate these by three or four fences. I would prefer if you did four just to make sure you have enough space. So let's go up four fences just like this. And now we can begin the second platform. Obviously above this, we're going to have our pieces of wood or whatever your other block is. And then we need to find the very middle guys. So let's find the middle. It should be right there. Now, what we have to do is come underneath and actually place a slab and then another slab. Now, what we want to do is get rid of this bottom slab, but keep this top one. So what I'm going to do is place another slab there, break that because it'll break the whole block and then replace it. So what you want to have is a one slab gap and a top slab and then another top slab. So what we have to do now is surround this with our soil or our dirt. So it's going to turn into dirt when you put it down. But there we go. We have it surrounded. The water should be enclosed. And now we have to do is place it in and now replace the dirt with your soil now or just hoe it because obviously you might be using this in survival now we just fill it in guys and you have your second layer completed guys now what you want to do is just stack this up as much as you want we put another lantern here and then boom we can start the pattern all over again with our fences going straight up and then the next thing you can do is just add a little ladder coming all the way down you can use trap doors and stuff like I did on my other one. So here's how you make a hanging farm that you can stack and to hold the water, you don't see any water coming through. So far, we've covered these two really awesome farm designs and we have one more to go. The final one is something like this. One stacked up diagonally or at an awkward angle, some square ones. This one is a super modern, really cool looking farm design. I really love this one, guys. I'm gonna show you how to build something like this if you want to. We will start this like all of the other ones by picking our shape. Now it doesn't have to be a square, but a square is pretty fun for this one. So I'm going to use a square. We're going to go all the way around just like this. And then I'll go all the way around one more time just for fun. I like to do a square on this one. Now what I want to do is put in my lantern or my other decorations and now go to my second level. So I want my next one to come out right here. So if I want it to be the same size, which is five by five, I have to count that. So one, two, three. Okay. So it's going to be four five so that's five total right there and then same over here one two three four five and then this will be the whole bottom oh, excuse me this will be the whole bottom layer right here boom for our second level and now what we can do is place our dirt up on this now it's not going to be soil it's going to be dirt because we have to put in the water so the same thing slab right there guys and then toss your water in and then go ahead and hoe the ground put all your soil in there and make sure it's all saturated now you can continue this pattern as far as you want to. Or if you want to switch it up completely, you can go with a different shape. As you can see, I just tossed a circle in here. And now what I'm going to do is repeat this on this side. And as you can see, we end up with a really, really cool looking farm with some unique shapes and no water showing. Hopefully these tips and tricks and awesome building ideas help you in your Minecraft worlds. And if you come up with builds of your own, make sure you send them to me over on Instagram or Discord. The links are all below on my link tree. Just go ahead over there and do that. And if you made it to this part of the video, make sure you drop a like. You obviously enjoyed. So thank you for watching. Thank you for enjoying another Builders Academy. And I'll see you again very soon with another video coming at you.